Here's a LabQuest 2. I've collected some data here. To share this data, I will click on this little home icon. Connections. Uh, you need to be connected to a network, so I'm connected to my home network here. Then this little box here has an address where it is broadcasting the data. So if you have a device that reads QR codes, you can simply scan this and your device will start sharing data with the LabQuest 2. Uh, this data sharing does need to be on here. If I turn it off, you'll see my sharing portal goes away. If you don't have the QR code reader, you just need to read this HTTP address here, this URL, which is a string of numbers in this case. I'll show you what happens when I typed it into my computer. So here I am in Chrome, and up here I'll simply type in the numbers 192.168.0.27 was the string of numbers that was on the LabQuest 2. I will hit enter, and miraculously the data that was on the LabQuest is now appearing on my computer. One of the things I can do here is download my data. So uh, let me show you this first. You can view the data. Right now it's a graph, but I could also view it as a data table. And these are all the UV data collected during the experiment. Or I can go back to the graph. I can also download the data. So this is, uh, it says export right up here in this corner here. And if I click on that, I can download the data. Here I can give the data a name. And uh, if you're European, you choose this format for Americans. And it says download CSV. This is comma separated values. And in this case, it's asking me where I want to save that. So I'll put that in the Dropbox. How about uh, ACR 14? And it has downloaded the data. It's down here in the corner. If I click on that, I have my data now in Excel form and so I can do whatever I want with this data, make it, save it permanently, graph it any way I want to, do any sort of analytics I can do in Excel. Another thing I can do from this browser application is I, I can actually start the LabQuest collecting data. So I just click that and it communicates with the LabQuest to say start collecting data and uh, there it is collecting data and then I can stop that remotely as well so you can control your LabQuest using your mobile device if you like if you have multiple data sets this uh, little icon here in the corner will allow you to select which do you want to display. Here's run 1 which is shown in red. Here's run 2 which is shown in blue. So you can put more than one bit of information on the screen at the same time this way. Uh, over in the other corner you have this gear which gives you some helpful information and uh, may be useful at times.